Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTV6. So let's continue with the achievement uh, series. Uh, right now I'm going to show you all for one and one for one. An achievement that you're going to uh, be able to unlock once you can complete any hard difficulty game uh, having a single tower on the screen at uh, any one time. So this achievement right here, right? Uh, now because it's any hard difficulty game that means that uh, if you play on any game mode other than chimps uh, you can like uh, use monkey knowledge and I strongly recommend you to use monkey knowledge whatever amount you may have anything can really help and especially in this uh, strategy that I'm gonna show you is the military knowledge that is gonna uh, be especially helpful so uh, yeah that's it so going into locks, of course, standard hard is just the easiest one of the all the game modes. And uh, um, starting with a sub right here in the center of the pool, closest to the bottom, in strong, 001. Uh, even if you can't upgrade it 001 uh, right away, it doesn't matter. You should be able to destroy all the bones uh, regardless. And uh, now for this achievement to work, you need to have a single tower on the screen at once. So, for example, here if I only if I place another tower, I'm going to lose the achievement. So I can only have one tower. And so um, what I'm going to go with is going to be a balloon tiny raptor because that is going to allow me to pop camera balloons, to pop lab balloons, and to do some pretty decent damage onto the onto the balloons. And considering also the recent uh, buffs on Twin Guns and Evo Starts, now they're gonna enhance also the Bluntanium Raptor. I think it's gonna be uh, very, very efficient and uh, very easy as well to achieve. Like no RNG involved. Um, and so, uh, yeah, this achievement should be quite easy. Again, I say, even if you don't have Monkey Knowledge maxed as a habit, uh, but you use it, uh, any anything that's gonna make your towers a little stronger like having four darts instead of uh, three or like later on uh, that when I'm gonna place the heli uh, having more peers from the heli uh, and so on those small things are gonna just make the, the gameplay a lot easier and uh, so whatever amount of monkey knowledge you may have I just recommend you to uh, to use it and uh, yeah, after sub 002, just getting it 102, now 202, and next is gonna be 302 and then 402. Uh, for the camo balloon in round 24, you're gonna need to submerge your sub first. Once you can reveal that camo balloon, then you're gonna just set uh, the sub again to strong. Um, and, uh, um, and yeah, so here just getting the third upgrade but then remember to leave it to strong because uh, with the third upgrade and when you are in uh, submerged you're not going to be able to damage the balloons at all so uh, yeah, just remember that and, uh, and now it's just about getting the balloon turning reactor because of course the sub in this way can reveal camo balloons uh, but cannot pop lads so uh, for round 28 uh, you lose if you don't get the Bluntonium Raptor. And so uh, it's 2700, but you have a lot of time to, to get enough cash. You should be able to afford it like in round 25, uh, the Bluntonium Raptor, so a couple of rounds earlier than round 28. And once I can afford it, I'm gonna just then uh, submerge this up because with the Bluntonium Raptor, you do a lot more damage, especially to balloons up to. Uh, rainbows. Uh, also the damage on ceramics is uh, pretty decent. Uh, and then I'm gonna just leave it submerged until around 40. Uh, for the MOAB I'm gonna um, unsubmerge it once again. Just placing it in uh, strong first doesn't really matter. Once I'm gonna be able to pop the MOAB layer that's when I'm gonna submerge it back again. So uh, that's pretty much it. Now remember to submerge it for round 24. Actually, I was able to afford the Bluntonium Raptor in round 24. So that was uh, one round earlier than what I expected. 
and now you can pop all bloom types with a uh, bloom tenor reactor uh, so it's, uh, it's perfect and uh, now considering the last pops the fact that the damage rate is gonna be even higher because of uh, the bottom path upgrade it's even better and the cool thing is that you can survive with a plutonium reactor until round 49 so you just need to uh, do the quick tri uh, trick with the mob as I said before strong and then submerge once you can pop the uh, mob layer uh, and then that's it you're gonna be able to survive with the plutonium reactor very easily with no RNG involved at all until the end of round 49 and then that's when I'm gonna sell the Bluntarium Raptor. I'm gonna place a Heli 420 right away. Uh, so a 420 Heli is another tower that can pop all balloon types because uh, it has camera detection. With the missiles, you can pop lab balloons, and with the darts, you can pop black and zebras. So, uh, and also the, the Heli is gonna be a lot stronger than the SAP because it's gonna do more damage to map class balloons and it's gonna have unlimited range, so it's gonna be able to follow the balloons anywhere they are. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the strategy. And I'm pretty sure uh, you can even get like an Apache Prime before round 76. Uh, so like the last uh, rounds are gonna be a piece of cake with a 520 heli. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, this is it. It's very easy using a Plutonium Reactor for the first like half of the game, then using the heli, and then that's it. So now it's all about like waiting. And uh, yeah, really not worrying about anything. You can pop all, all balloon types, you can destroy everything. And this map also is very long. So even if some balloons can sneak past once, then they're gonna be attacked again there, then they're gonna be attacked again up here, then also here, and then also right there. And that is going to be important for round 40, having this small range uh, down there. So being able to attack the balloons a last time before they can sneak past. Uh, so that's why I place this up in the center and closest to the bottom. You can see here ceramics also being popped uh, quite efficiently. And the cool thing about the Bloom Turner Reactor is that it has no limit in terms of piercing of how many balloons it can damage. Like you can damage an infinite amount of balloons as long as they are in range of the, of the sub and they're being uh, destroyed. So that's very, very nice. Okay, here the mob. So first. And uh, um, then once you can pop the mob layer, here we go. So merge once again and then that's it. So even if I I made a small mistake and I didn't place the sub first as round 40 started, but a little later on, you could see that still I was able to pop everything uh, down there. And so, uh, yeah, if you're gonna do it better, just recommend you to go slow, you know, to first before the MOAP comes down, because in that way you're gonna be able to actually attack the MOAP as it is coming down. Uh, then you can pop the MOAP like about here, and then you're gonna just set the Sub to submerged, and you're gonna be able to then finish off all the balloons. And yeah, that's it. So, very easy, no RNG involved. Um, and uh, yeah, very reliable.
rest around 48 here so next round even against 45 uh, ceramics you can see no problem and uh, here I'm gonna just remove all the start now remember very important you need to sell the sub first and then place the heli because otherwise you're gonna have two towers at once and you're gonna lose the achievement so here we go destroying all these balloons and selling and now heli now heli especially now around 50 just because of the fact that uh, otherwise you're gonna struggle a little bit more against these mobs because here we have a mob you have some lads and then you have some ceramics um, and so uh, just with the sub you may struggle so it's just better to sell it place the heli and now just destroy everything with the heli uh, yeah, you should be able to afford the Apache Prime, as I said before, before round 76, and that's all you, you need. Um, and yeah, now the Heli can follow the balloons everywhere, uh, you can damage them with the, the darts, with the machine gun, with the missiles, camo detection, flying faster, and yeah, just living in pursuit because the computer controls it very, very well. Uh, yeah, the only scary round may be 63 um, but uh, yeah just leave the hell in pursuit it's gonna just follow the ceramics it's gonna just destroy the ceramic crushes and then it's gonna start targeting the second one and then the third one you may pop the last balloons quite close to the exit but uh, should be able to do it and remember as well that uh, you have also some lives that you can afford to lose in this case I also have the mana ship lives but even if I hadn't uh, I can lose up to like 90 lives 99 lives and still be able to survive so uh, remember also that you can afford to lose some lives and that's it really uh, it's very easy I would start going even faster now uh, but uh, you can't go any faster than this Just uh, being relaxed and uh, waiting for the heli to do the job. Uh, round 63, I'm gonna just uh, slow down a little bit uh, the speed just to guarantee that the heli deals enough damage. But I should already be fine if I remember correctly. first ceramic crush. Uh, the only problem is always the fact that missiles will not be able to damage black and zebras so you need to pop them like with the machine gun and with the darts so that may delay a little bit the damage of the heli on the other balloons behind but okay this is the second one and that's the third one coming out Should, uh, should be enough enough time to attack all these ceramics all these balloons actually and here we go all right so that's the only like scary round because you also have lads in the middle and uh, lads are gonna destroy your darts so uh, yeah then round 64 should be easy once again uh, then yeah round 65 as well it's easy so now from now on it's uh, it's just about waiting to have enough cash to get the Apache Prime before round 76 though because uh, round 76 unfortunately those regrow balloons are gonna regrow back before you can like 
completely destroy them with the heli and so at the end of the day you're gonna have like a ton of loons to deal with and you're gonna lose so you need like 100% of the um, the heli uh, 5 to 0 for 176 or you need like to sell it and to place another tower of course you can also do that I get a round zero works maelstrom also works uh, but I just recommend you to get the Apache Prime you're gonna get enough cash to do so so why not let's just keep using the same tower Yeah, nothing really else to say uh, here rather than just uh, watching the heli destroy everything. Right, just uh, a couple of hundreds more for the Apache Prime. I should be able to get it now, and uh, here we go. So now you're gonna be able to clear up and to destroy the balloons even faster. And that's gonna uh, make the last uh, rounds even easier to complete. That's it, really, because an Apache Prime already it's a very strong tower power upgrade. So uh, you just need camo detection, of course, to be able to destroy all the balloons with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna just uh, leave you with the last few rounds to complete. See ya. Bye bye.